darling 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 how about some emeralds how are they formed where can you find the best quality specimens and how much do emeralds cost in this video of the most expensive emerald jewelry in the world i will answer these questions and more but first did you know that on a per carat basis top quality emeralds can cost more than diamonds yes they can so it's no surprise that this green gem is taking its spot among the most sought after gemstones in the high jewelry collecting circle. From Russia's Catherine the Great to Elizabeth Taylor, Angelina Jolie to the Rockefellers, celebrities, business tycoons and even royalty have given a new meaning to the saying, green with envy. Before we proceed, allow me to introduce myself. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I'm building a community of jewelry collectors and lovers. If you're interested in staying up to date in the world of high jewelry and are also looking for pieces to add to your collection, hit the subscribe button to become a part of this family. Let's continue. Emerald is a variety of the mineral beryl. It's found in igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks in different parts of the world, with the majority coming from Colombia, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Brazil. Emeralds are formed thanks to a rare metal called beryllium, with beryllium, aluminium, silicon and oxygen at the right temperature and pressure this gem comes into existence interestingly when burial is pure it's actually colorless trace elements like chromium and vanadium or both add color to the mineral so in essence emeralds form when there's enough chromium and vanadium where a burial crystal grows that's as simplified as i can put it <laughs> i hope you understand emeralds were famously loved and collected by cleopatra who was so obsessed with the gem that she had her own mines in Egypt, filled with men whose jobs were to dig up her emeralds. Honestly, a woman's obsession with sparkling gems didn't begin today. <laughs> anyway, while emeralds in antiquity were mined in Egypt, India and Austria, the best and most famous emeralds today are found in Colombia. This country is the world's largest provider of emeralds and is responsible for more than 60% of world production. Other major suppliers include Brazil, Zambia and Zimbabwe. There's no conversation about emeralds without talking about the Muzo mine in Colombia. This mine has provided some of the most famous emeralds in history, including the Devon chair, an uncut stone weighing an unbelievable 1,383 carats. It was named after the sixth Duke of Devon chair, who was given the stone by Emperor Dom Pedro I of Brazil. Another famous emerald found in this mine is a 37.82 carat chalk emerald, which is famous for its impressive color and clarity. And according to legend, the chalk emerald was once owned by a Maharani of Baroda in India. There's also the stunning Maké emerald. Sitting at 167.97 carats, the incredible stone was set in a diamond and platinum necklace by Cartier. The Art Deco style necklace was a wedding gift in 1931 from Clarence Mackay to his wife, Anna Case. Mrs. Anna Case Mackay gifted the necklace to the Smithsonian in 1984 and it is on display in the Gem Hall at the National Museum of Natural History. Oh, things are about to get even more exciting. <laughs> As if that's not enough, the beautiful country of Colombia is also responsible for the carved 217.80 carat Mogul Muhal Emerald inscribed with the date 1107. It is currently on display at the Museum of Islamic Art in Doha, Qatar. Let's step out from Colombia and make a stop in Zambia. The East African nation is responsible for one of the largest emeralds ever unearthed. The 6,225 carats in Sofo, which means elephant, in the local Bemba dialect of the people in the Zambian region where it was discovered, was purchased by Chopard in November 2018 at the Gemfields Emerald Auction in Singapore. Now, would you like to see 10 of the most expensive emeralds in the world and what makes them special? Let's begin. Claiming the 10th spot is the beautiful Zilka Kate Emerald Ring. It's from the personal collection of Cecil Zilka, a well-known New York philanthropist who, along with her husband Ezra, committed their lives to supporting institutions such as the Metropolitan Opera and the Hospital for Special Surgery. Following their deaths, Sotheby's hosted an auction of their personal collection titled True Connoisseurship, the collection of Ezra and Cecil Zilka. The ring, which features a 21.86 carat Colombian square emerald cut emerald, flanked by diamonds and mounted on 18 carat yellow gold, 
sold for $3.6 million in 2020. In ninth place, we put the spotlight on the emerald and diamond necklace that once belonged to Princess Faizia of Egypt. After the 1952 Egyptian Revolution and the exile of the royal family, many of their jewels were sold and dismounted, but this one survived. Purchased in 1947 by the princess from Van Cleef & Apples, the Art Deco creation flaunts 10 amazing emeralds of Colombian origin accompanied by diamonds all set in platinum. It sold for about $4.2 million when it went under the hammer via Christie's in 2013. Some of the most iconic pieces of high jewelry we've come to appreciate today were once in the collection of this great ruler of Russia. Catherine the Great was renowned for wearing jewelry as a way to express her position of power, often wearing emeralds to meetings with her military generals. This necklace is set with an impressive 75.61 carat emerald that was part of the Imperial Russian collection for over a century before being gifted to Grand Duchess Vladimir by Sir Alexander II of Russia in 1874 as a wedding gift. You can click the card above to see my video on the full collection of the Grand Duchess. Following her death, the emerald was owned by several collectors including Pierre Cartier and John D. Rockefeller Jr. It was set in this necklace that was sold at auction for $4.3 million. The Rockefeller Emerald is often thought as the world's most expensive emerald, but I've found some that sold for way more than that. However, it's the most expensive per carat emerald in the world. The emerald was originally purchased by John D. Rockefeller Jr. for his wife, Abby Rockefeller, who wore it set into a brooch that was designed by Van Cleef and Apples. After her death, the brooch was dismounted and shared amongst her children. Her youngest son turned a large stone into the 18.03 carat ring we know today that was set by Raymond Yard. It was purchased by Harry Winston via auction for $5.5 million and placed in this new setting. Back in May 2017, this amazing palmet necklace created by Bogosian was sold via Christie's for $6 million. It is a testament to Bogosian's gemstone expertise, creative artistry, and above all, patience. Because over several years, the family amassed a collection of natural untreated Colombian emeralds before setting them into this spectacular necklace inspired by the beautiful city of Palmyra. 11 perfectly matched no oil Colombian emeralds, ranging from 12.34 carats to 3.3 carats form ornate palmet motifs complemented by fine colorless diamonds. When it sold via auction, it was the first time a piece of such caliber had appeared at auction. Some of the most well-known emeralds were owned by none other than the sensational Elizabeth Taylor. In her legendary hydrary collection, you can click the card above to watch my video on it. Her Bulgari emeralds were an uncontested star. Purchased by her husband, Richard Button, it featured a flower brooch, a pair of pendant earrings, a necklace, a ring, and a bracelet. Elizabeth Taylor's hydrary collection is estimated to be worth a staggering $100 million, with her emerald pieces making up a quarter of that. The star of the show is considered to be her Bulgari rectangular cut emerald brooch, which is surrounded by pear-shaped diamonds. The 23.46 carat brooch was notably worn by the actress at their wedding in 1964 before being sold in 2011 for over $6.5 million. Coming in fourth place is another spectacular creation from Bogosian. Determined to create a one-of-a-kind piece to rival history's greatest emerald jewels, for four years, Albert Bogosian selected the finest rarest stones. When he finally amassed a collection of 28 natural, untreated and perfectly color-matched emeralds, creative director Edmund Chin designed this majestic necklace to showcase their beauty. The result, this double reverie necklace, displayed this extraordinary collection of cushion-cut and emerald-cut emeralds, 117.6 carats in total, alongside 59.40 carats of fine diamonds and green jadeite. It sold for $7 million. Back in 2013, Christie's Geneva offered up this necklace at auction that once belonged to the Bolivian tycoon Simon Ituri Patino. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The emerald and diamond necklace was created by Cartier in 1937 following the jeweler's acquisition of a rare 45 carat emerald that belonged to Queen Eugenia Victoria of Spain. Cartier selected over 100 carats of the best emeralds available at the time to create this necklace, which Patino bought for his wife in January 1938. 
It boasts 12 Colombian emeralds with a total weight of 108.74 carats and 24 colorless diamonds with a total weight of 59.36 carats. It sold at auction for $9.9 million. The Vladimir Tiara originally belonged to the Grand Duchess Vladimir of Russia. The wife of the Tsar's uncle, Grand Duke Vladimir Alexandrovich of Russia, she was well known for her impressive collection of jewels, including this beautiful tiara. Following her death, Queen Mary purchased the tiara, and that's how it got into the royal collection of the United Kingdom. You can click this card above to watch my video on the royal jewels of the United Kingdom. The story goes that the tiara, which was damaged in transit, was elected by Queen Mary to be repaired by Garad and Co. During this repair, Queen Mary added 15 of her own emeralds to the tiara in a new mechanism that made it possible to switch between the original pearls to emeralds easily. The tiara is estimated to be worth over $30 million. In first place is none other than the Bahia Emerald, one of the world's largest emeralds, weighing 752 pounds. Oh my god! <laughs> it's technically 8 crystals embedded into one host rock. The rock contains the largest single shroud of emerald ever to be found and is valued at approximately $400 million, although its true worth is unknown. It was mined in Brazil in 2001 and is the feature of an ownership dispute that continued until 2015. Some say the stone is cursed over the course of many years, from its discovery to its settlement. 14 individuals and entities, not to mention the nation of Brazil, have claimed the rock as theirs. Four lawsuits were filed and three people filed for bankruptcy. Even now that the ownership has been settled, the stone remains in a controlled vault where even the owners are not permitted to see it. For a gem as large as this, I wouldn't expect any less drama. <laughs> Alright, that's it. My creation of the most expensive emeralds in the world. As you can see, this iconic green gem isn't cheap. If you're looking for a more pocket-friendly way to start your collection, I've compiled a list of expensive gemstones and there are more affordable lookalikes you may be interested to see. Click this video on the screen to watch and I'll see you in that video. Bye-bye.